Now, you must be honoured to be here to present, but also for your programme, The Slammer, to be nominated for Best Entertainment for Kids. Yeah, absolutely fab. Um, uh, we're thrilled to be here. I mean, it's the second time it's been nominated. I think when it, it's, we've done four series now, and um, how we still manage to get all the great acts and everything, is, it's just brilliant, the, the whole team that do it all. I mean, I say all the team and everything. Obviously, the most important for the person yeah. is me. But, uh, no, uh, Steve Ride and all the... Uh, is a great producer and Joe Godwin who kind of helped Steve create the sl Slammer. It was such a great invention. Uh, years ago, well, four or five years ago when they asked me would I be interested in doing a children's entertainment show, I thought it would be like Junior Showtime, a little stage and here's our next performer. But Steve came up with an idea and when I was trying to explain it to people, I said, well, the idea is it's a prison and there's all these kids come in and all the acts have committed crimes against show business. People are going, what? But uh, that's it, and it worked, and it's, it's just a gas. Best job I've ever done. Love it. You've been in the business for a long time. You've got a lot of wealth of experience. How's it changed for you over the years with regards to not only television, but your stand-up as well? Because stand-up's obviously changed since uh, over the last 10, 20 years. Well, the great thing about when you've been in it as long as I have, and I've been in it for over 30 years, 35 years, is as regards to stand-up, is that the people now don't remember me gags the first time round, so you can recycle them again. Um, what, I think what's the one thing that never changes is that the, it's going to be deep now, but I think that the acts that get on well and stay are people who've got warmth. Yeah. Um, you know, you can always be clever, you can always be cutting edge, you can always be. But if people like you as a performer more, I think that's great. You know, you still see great pros like Brucey still doing it, Desert Connor's still doing it. And I think the great thing is that. Now we don't have this shut off thing anymore. You're never too old, you're never too young. If you can still hack it, you can still do it, you know what I mean? Do you think they would survive in the social club, you know, the, the northern, the social club that it was like? It still is now, but not as much as it was. North East, that accent like. It is, I, from, uh, from Durham. Oh, they like your act up there, they don't clap, they let you live. Yeah. Um, well, that is a real test, you know? Yeah. People used to, in the old working men's clubs, they'd, they'd put how much money you were on. And you'd get these ex miners or fellas working, you know, in, a, in steel yards, hard physical graft, and they'd see your name up there, you know, Ted Robbins, comedian, 60 quid. And they said, right, that's half my wages, like, you know, we'll see if you're worth it, money lad. I'm not laughing at that. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, it is a bit of a stereotype, that. But certainly, if, if you can make. I think your job is your job is to make people laugh, not to give a political lecture, not to please your peers. It's to please the audience who are paying to sit there to forget their worries and have a good time. Do you, think the, over. do you think the television reality show is then a good thing? Because that wasn't around. Well, that, the comedy there was the comedians maybe, but never not maybe not a reality show. You know, there was opportunity knocks years ago. There was uh, new faces. There always were chances, but the difference was that they would bring people who were learning their craft in. And it wasn't just the TV, there were places for them to work. So you had acts like Les Dawson coming on, you had acts uh, who, who'd been working in the clubs, like Little and Large and all these kind of... Uh, so when they came to TV, they, it wasn't their first time in front of the cameras or singers and performers. They'd performed in places because they were great places to go. That's the one, if I had a wish, that good clubs would come back, cabaret clubs and, and places like that, so that people can get out and really learn their craft. So that they're not learning it first time, bang, on, on front of the It's a hard place to learn in front of millions.